For Nordic Fjords Hole 1, if they do give you a Tailwind, you can send it if you have an APOC 5 or greater. If you do not have an APOC 5 or greater, you do need a high wind to blast it over. Here we're going about two bars of topspin. I'm just eyeballing it here, but if you want to be specific, you want to do a max adjustment with a plus 10% over adjustment of your shot. So here again, you don't need to go more than two topspin because it will go long over the green and into the water behind if you go much more than that. So play it safe, do two around two bars of topspin when you do blast it over. More times than not, you're going to get a headwind or a crosswind, and if you do, you're going to have to lay up. So I'm doing max top spin and max right spin. I put my red ring up near the rough, and this can go for an APOC 5 as well. You're going to over adjust your shot with a plus 10% over adjustment at maximum distance of your club. The trick here is to make sure that you curl your ball away from that sun bu sand bunker on the left, which is usually about a ball and a half of curl to the right. So again, make sure you give it some curl. If it's a headwind, give it a little bit of overpower. If you do adjust into overpower, make sure you do give overpower on the shot. Usually I am in end bringer distance when I do um, have to do the layup shot and I play the no spin end bringer rule. So when you do play the no spin end bringer rule, you're gonna go at the slider of your club with a plus 30% over adjustment of your shot. So I play the 20%, but I add another 10% to it to account for the downhill effect that this uh, hole has on the second shot. If you are in short iron range, you do wanna play this with a plus 10% over adjustment as well. This shot in particularly, I did 25% um, max and I barely made it in, so my next shot you will see the plus 30. Here again we have a headwind crosswind and we're gonna have to lay up yet again. We're gonna do full top spin and full right spin. Our red ring is gonna be up near the rough and then we're going to adjust at max distance with a plus 10% over adjustment of our shot. Since I didn't pull into overpower, I did not use any overpower on the shot. And since it's a left to right crosswind, I didn't have to give it as much curl. I gave it about a ball of curl. So with a left to right crosswind, you only need about a ball of curl. And with a right to left crosswind, you're gonna have to give it more curl in that to compensate for the wind push going to the left. For the second shot, I'm using the no spin and bringer rule again. I stretch it out to max distance. I estimated this to be about 60% of my club. So I played this at 60% club with a plus 30% elevation. So again, we're playing this and bringer shot, no spin rule with a plus 30% over adjustment of our shot. Hopefully this guide helps you guys out. If you have any questions, either reach out on Facebook Messenger or leave a comment below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And remember, hit perfect and happy golfing.